there are times on a flight plan where you're going to need to either uh, fly inbound or outbound or a combination of inbound and outbound radials when uh, approaching a VOR. Uh, when you have a flight plan already entered into a G1000, that could uh, cause a couple of problems trying to figure out how to switch back and forth. Uh, but one easy solution is to use uh, OBS mode on the uh, G1000 to be able to fly those inbound outbound courses. Uh, a good example of this is out in Los Angeles uh, for the Los Angeles Class Bravo. Uh, one of the routes through the Class Bravo is something they call the coastal route. The coastal route involves an uh, inbound uh, flight of flying the, the inbound radial of a 123 degree radial inbound to the VOR. Once you hit the VOR, then you had to fly a, a 323 degree outbound on that VOR. Uh, we're going to simulate this by going up to the Julian VOR here in San Diego, and we're going to show you how to easily do that via OBS mode. Uh, that's going to be the subject of this aviation seminar's quick tip. And as I mentioned, we're going to be doing a simulation of the uh, LAX. We're going to simulation of the LA, LAX uh, class Bravo uh, going through the coastal route. So we're going to be pretending the Julian VOR is the LAX uh, class Bravo, and we're going to be uh, flying out here over Agua Caliente. Then we're going to be turning inbound to it, and then we're going to simulate using the OBS to uh, follow the uh, one two three radial uh, inbound, and then the three hundred and twenty three degree radial outbound, simulating that coastal route for LAX. So we're going to be in our turn here just a minute, then we're going to switch over to the OBS mode and showing how we can uh, do that with the uh, GPS on the G1000 and the autopilot. Alright, we're beginning our turn inbound. We're going to go ahead and go OBS mode and we're going to go to the 303 degree radial, uh, which is the 180 degree reciprocal of that 1 to 123 degree radial. And we need to go on here, we need to go to our flight plan, and we need to actually select the Julian Lake to make that work. Now we're going to go ahead and go OBS mode on the 303 degree radial for the inbound. We are going to go to the 303 degree radial inbound, which is the 183, uh, the 180 degree reciprocal of the 123 radial that we'd be flying to inbound coastal route. As you can see, we are now uh, coming into the intercept of the uh, 123 degree outbound radial from the Julian VOR, again simulating the LAX class Bravo uh, coastal route. Uh, as soon as we hit that, intercept that, we're going to be flying on the 123 degree inbound uh, for the radial going into Julian. Once we hit the Julian VOR, we are going to go ahead and roll the OBS mode over to the 323 degree outbound radial and show you how that works. seconds out from that Julian VOR and about 15 seconds out I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to that 323 outbound radial. We're now adjusting to the 323 outbound radial of the Julian VOR, simulating flying the 323 degree radial outbound for the LX VOR on the coastal route for the class Bravo transition going through LA. As you see, we've remained in nav mode on the GPS the whole time. And we'll fly the 323 degree outbound here just for a minute before uh, continue on to the next lake, just to kind of simulate coming outside of the class Bravo. All right, as you can now see, we are on the 323 degree outbound radial from the Julian VOR. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn OBS mode off. That puts us into suspend mode, which lets us select our next waypoint. So we're going to go over to here, and we're going to go on to our next waypoint, activate that leg, go ahead and activate it. The uh, GPS held nav mode, we're just going to go ahead and roll on the rest of the way uh, out to our next stop, which is going to be French Valley. And that is how you use the autopilot, the G1000, uh, and OBS mode to navigate through uh, inbound and outbound radials going to a VOR.